22. Let's go to our man, Carlos from Mission, Texas. Carlos, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. How are you guys? Good morning, Carlos. We're doing great. Happy Thanksgiving, man. Oh, happy Thanksgiving to you guys. Too. Happy uh, Thanksgiving. The so, the peso, huh? Yes, Tom. Um, you know that this time of the year, uh, I'm very concerned about the peso and um, because the uh, relationship that has with the dollar. As you know, we have a new elected uh, president that is, uh, well, if you have to say it's completely different uh, ideology than the one we have for the last 80 years. Okay. So I'm a little worried, to be honest, and worried because uh, we have seen cases of Venezuela and other places of the world where changes sometimes bring. I'm not worried about the change. I'm worried about the expectations that sometimes are too high. And uh, my concern now is how bad can uh, that hurt the peso, if you can look at the chart. Absolutely. So the peso right now is trading at 20 pesos to one U.S. dollar. Let me put this back a bit. I actually like how it's, well, actually, hold it. 20 pesos to one U.S. dollar. Oh, I see. <laughs> 20... Yeah, so it looks to me like we can go to 21 pretty easy. Um, yeah. Pull this back a bit. Because the reality, I just want to get this straight. So as the, as the peso gets out, goes up, that means it's getting weaker, right, Paulos? Yes. The, yeah. The peso, uh, actually, if the dollar goes up, the, uh, the, the dollar is gets weaker. I mean, the uh, peso gets weaker and weaker. Uh, yeah. And the, uh, before the uh, elections, it was a strong. I remember I spoke to you. And yeah, we were down to ten, right? It was very, it was very. Oh, good. not ten, no. Uh, about eighteen or something like yeah, that. 18. Right, yeah. right. And then after that, yeah, the spike. There, there was a cancellation of the uh, airport, and it was a project that it was ongoing, and it hurt a lot of uh, construction companies. And uh, I see. Demix was hurt really bad. Yeah. It was one of the most. Uh, uh, damage companies and Carlos Slim got a real big uh, reversal on, on his investment. So uh, there's a lot of worry right now about different projects, especially in oil okay. for foreign companies, and that's the uh, fundamental factors. That's the reason I'm calling for to check on the uh, technicals and see. Yeah, it looks it, it looks that that high that was generated out here in January it looks like it can get hit 22 January of 17. Yeah, yeah January 17. That's that's what it looks and yeah, so. Okay. Well, yeah. Uh, let's 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 get prepared. And uh, well, I haven't spoke to you guys for a while, and I I've been listening to the program, and uh, that change that you guys did on the website is so good. I'm still working on uh, understanding everything, but I, I think I got everything under control. But uh, it it looks very nice. And, well, we appreciate uh, it. Sometimes we worry about change, but. Hey, if it's for good, it's always welcome. Yeah. And how you feeling, man? I'm feeling a lot better, Tom. Uh, I have to say that I mean, uh, I had to move to Texas because uh, it was getting out of control, my expenses as far as my medical bills. Yep. And here I live very close to uh, the nearest hospital where I can take care of my uh, problem. Good. And it's a lot way, way cheaper and the... Uh, they, they, the procedures they do, they're not not as conventional as the ones I've seen in the United States. Right. And uh, some things have worked a lot, a lot better for me. And with this, uh, um, as far as the price, as far as the, uh, there's a lot of Americans taking care of themselves in uh, Mexican hospitals. Even yes. I don't know if you don't, uh, you know this. If you live in Mexico, if, it doesn't matter if you're Canadian or American. Just for being a Mexican resident, uh, uh, a resident of Mexico. Yeah. Uh, even if you're just staying, documented or undocumented, or right. Documented, you can receive uh, medical attention for free. It's yeah. No. You know, I at 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 a club that I belong to, right? There's a couple guys that told us the story, right? I this 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 one guy, great guy. He had like huge problems with his hip, right? And so I I, yeah. I know about this because he went home. And they, um, what is it, uh, the stem cell deal, right? Yes. And bottom line, man, 
you know, he's good now. It's like, wow, man. I mean, and it was that dramatic. I mean, because this poor guy, you know, when you're working and something's wrong with your hips, folks, it's, it's painful, like, in a huge way. And I, I saw him, and I says, okay, tell me what happened. He told me. I says, man, this is amazing. And it, just like you said, it, it's, there's some unconventional deals there that are working that, you know, we, we, yes. we just don't do yet, you know, so. Yes, and, and many of those benefits are available for any, any person who re resides in Mexico. And uh, the other thing is, uh, as far as here, well, my premium is $1,400 a month of insurance yep. that I still pay, plus co-payments. And sometimes all those payments are, I mean, it's just unbelievable. Right. Very, very difficult to handle. And I understand why a lot of people, especially uh, uh, older citizens, are retiring in places like Puerto Vallarta. And oh, for sure, places. man. Yeah. 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 It's gorgeous. I know. There's, there's no doubt, man. Yeah. Yeah. Whole different ball well, game. Well, you sound strong, man. So that's freaking awesome. That's... Yeah, yes, definitely. I'm mean, in way, way better. Yeah. I, mean, I really appreciate it. All the support from the the day and from you guys. And I really want to thank. Uh, if I don't talk to you guys, I want to thank uh, completely the, uh, the the people who work with you. Very kind and uh, humble people. I really appreciate every time I give a call. Last time I spoke to Tommy, he was right on the phone. He recognized me, and I and I was. Uh, uh, held by him and course, right. very professional. That's awesome. Yeah, uh, I know you're a very proud parent of uh, Tommy. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, That's right. It's a very good man. Thank Big you, time. Tom. Thank you, Tommy. And it's always uh, a pleasure, a, Carlos. A great Thanks for calling, man. Great to hear from you, great Carlos. Have a great Take Thanksgiving, care. man. Bye. Bye, bye.